All right, good evening and welcome to another board meeting here. Um, today is Tuesday, May the 8th, 2012, and the time is now 7 o'clock. I call this meeting to order. We do have a quorum. Item number two, Pledge, uh, Pledge of Allegiance to the U.S. and Texas flags. Mr. Moore. Thank you. I have the uh, distinct pleasure of introducing Mr. Hector Andrew Liao. He's an eighth grader at Ed Downs Elementary School. His parents are Hector Liao Jr. and Jessica Liao, former Jessica Morales, sitting right behind us here. Uh, Hector's favorite subject is math uh, because he likes to challenge himself. Simple problems aren't good enough for him. Uh-uh and no, no. He wants the tough ones. Uh, Hector loves to hang out with his family, play baseball, go to the beach, and try new things. He has a wonderful attendance record and almost always on the All-A Honor Roll. Uh, he has won trophies, medals, and ribbons in baseball, academics, and participating in the diabetes runs. run. He reads books about foreign countries and plans on visiting China and Japan someday when he grows up. That is, of course, after he gets his <coughs> degree as an attorney. Uh, oh, and I should mention Hector's teacher thinks he's really cool, and she is hoping that she gets an invitation to China when he goes. <laughs> Hector, if you'll please join us up here. Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon. I've just been given a correction. I'm supposed to introduce the other student also. Sorry, Hector. Uh, Jalen Rose Huerta is our other student today. She is an eight-year-old second grader at Ed Downs Elementary School. She is the daughter of Juan Huerta and Mary Gonzalez. This young lady has a thing for softball. Uh, her team has, uh, she's told me that she likes to play on most weeknights and most weekends. Uh, she has played almost every position on her softball team, uh, a team that has gone to nationals and won first place in the past. Uh, Jay Lynn is also a fan of math, and she kind of likes the way numbers change when you add and subtract them. She said it was kind of like a form of magic, the way they change and the way things happen to them. This year, Jay Lynn is on, Jay Lynn is on the AB Honor Roll and has a fantastic attendance record. When she reads, it has to be a funny book because funny books just make her laugh. Uh, when she grows up, she plans on being a heart doctor because she can help people, and she also said the pay is pretty good. <laughs> Jay Lynn is the kind of child who puts a smile on your face and has a real future ahead of her. Jay Lynn and her parents are also here today, too. <laughs> Hector? Hector, if you'll join us, please. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge of allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please bow your heads and join us for a moment of silence. I'm sorry, for a prayer. Please bow your heads. Thank you, God, for watching over us. Please bless our parents, brothers, sisters, and other relatives as they lead their lives. Please bless our board members, administrators, and teachers as they make decisions about our education. In, in Christ's name we pray, amen. amen. I, I would also like to say good luck to the varsity baseball team. As they travel up to Alice this weekend. You may be seated. <coughs> Congratulations. Excellent. 
Excellent job. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Excellent job. Thank you. Good job. And again, thank you for the parents for allowing your children to be part of this meeting well this evening. Mr. Moon, thank you for inviting these two fine students as well. Moving on to item number four, roll call. Please respond with present. Mr. Hector G. Leal, Vice President. Present. Ms. June Aguilera, Secretary. Present. Mr. Oscar De La Fuente, Here. Jr. Here. Mr. Julian Huerta. Present. Mr. Oscar Medrano. Present. Mr. Bob Tumberlinson. Mr. Antonio G. Limon, Superintendent. Present. Mr. Gus Acevedo, School Attorney. Here. Item number five, recommend approving the agenda of the regular board meeting of May the 8th, 2012 with any corrections or deletions. Uh, at this time, Madam Chairman, I, I was reviewing the, the agenda and noticed that public comment was placed uh, at the very top. Uh, normally, public comment is held uh, as the first item after a reception or after recognition. So at this time, I'd like to move public com or move to move public comment that it be heard after our break for the reception, after all the awards are given. I'll second that motion. Okay, motion made to move public comment after the recognitions made by Mr. De La Fuente, seconded by Mr. Medrano. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. That brings us on to item number seven, special recognitions. Ms. Celia. We'd like to call on two of our campuses that are gonna join us before the board, but before we do so, um, I'd like to call on the first campus, and the awards for that particular campus are located in the black folders right up at the front. The first school on the agenda is Dr. C.M. Cash Elementary. The principal at that campus is Lupita Monsevais. This is a higher performing school, and they earned the recognition from the National Center for Educational Achievement. Ms. Monsevais is up at the front, and Board President Ileana G. Rodriguez will do the honors. Dr. C.M. Cash Elementary earned this honor, the higher performing schools, formerly known as Just for the Kids Schools, and they're identified by two measures, consistent improvement in student achievement from previous year's growth and or absolute student achievement using the school's commended performance results on the spring 20, uh, 2009-2011 tax or Texas Assessment of Knowledge and Skills Test. The campus made the gains in the 2011 tax science. So congratulations, Dr. C.M. Cash Elementary students, staff, parents. Congratulations. <laughs> Dr. C.M. Cash Elementary joins Ed Downs Elementary in this other award for the evening. These two campuses earned Distinguished Progress Award by the Title I Part A Distinguished Progress Award criteria. And again, Dr. C.M. Cash Elementary Principal, Lupita Monsevais, and Ed Downs Elementary Principal, Mr. Tim Moon. The two campuses. <laughs> the two campuses earned the Distinguished Progress Award for ensuring that all children have the opportunity to obtain a high quality education and reach proficiency on challenging state academic standards and assessments for the 2011 2012 school year. And they are joined by the students uh, at their campus, representing their campus for uh, Ed Downs Elementary. Congratulations. <laughs> we continue with recognition. Next, I'd like to call on San Benito High School. We had one student from San Benito High School who's a senior this year that competed in the UIL academics. He qualified to compete at the state level, and this young man's name is Daniel Corona. Mr. Hector Gilial, Vice President, is doing the honors. And this young man is joined by his UIL coach, Rolando Buitron, and his UIL coordinator, Rudy Ramirez. Principal at the campus is Delia Weaver. And let me just tell you a little bit about Daniel Corona's accomplishments this year. 
This young man qualified to compete at the state level for UIL acad academics. He competed in current events and issues, placing first in District 32 5A competition in Brownsville, Hannah, and third in Region 4 competition at UT San Antonio. Region 4 includes all school districts from San Antonio south to the Rio Grande Valley. He is the first competitor to qualify in the past five years for state competition. State competition will be held at the University of Texas at Austin on May 21st, where he will meet the best and brightest UIL current events competitors from throughout the state of Texas. So we want to wish him well, and we know that he's going to represent our school district and our campus at San Benito High School very well. And I would also like to acknowledge the principal, Mrs. Delia Weaver. I believe she is in the audience, somewhere in the audience. Congratulations. Another campus on our list earning recognition this evening is Veterans Memorial Academy. We have a group of students that competed under the Technology Student Association at the TSA State Conference and Contest, placed first the Best of State Award with a commercial model. These students are all freshmen at Veterans Memorial Academy, and they are Jesus Contreras, Aaron Villarreal, and Yoari Gonzalez. And they are here with their sponsor, Hector Lumbrera. And I would like to recognize Hector Rendon, our Career Technical Education Director. He's in the audience and also principal at VMA, Teresa Cervellon. And these are the students that went to compete at the TSA State Competition April 1st through 3rd at the Waco Convention Center in Waco, Texas. So congratulations to them. <laughs> at this time, I would like to recognize, uh, I fail to recognize parent for Daniel Corona, if Daniel Corona's parents are in the audience, if y'all can please stand and be recognized at this time. Also, the parents for these uh, three young men that we just called right now. They are joining us this evening. Thank you for being here. Another group from Veterans Memorial Academy. These are students that competed at the Technology Student Association State Conference, they placed fifth in structure, structural engineering competition, and they advanced to national conference in Nashville, Tennessee. They are Manuel Garcia and Alfredo Infante. And joining them is their sponsor, Mr. Hector Lumbrera. This took place at the TSA State Conference April 1st through 3rd at the Waco Convention Center in Waco, Texas. Parents of Manuel Garcia and Alfredo Infante, if you all are in the audience, please stand and be recognized at this time. Congratulations. The next group on our list for recognition hails from San Benito High School. These are the 32 5A District Golf and Region 4 Champion Competition winners. The boys varsity placed second, and the Region 4 Team Qualifier Girls Medalist Qualifier at Region 4. Team members include Johnny Espinosa, a senior this year, Jose Flores, another senior. We have sophomore Francisco Guerra. We have two juniors, Jesse Robles and Jason Santana. And we have the brother and sister duo, Ben Valle and Emma Valle. And Emma Valle could not be present this evening because she had another commitment. We have coach Rene Montalvo Jr. and coach Olga Garza. I'd also like to recognize Director of Athletics, uh, Spencer Gant, Mrs. Weaver, our principal at San Benito High School, and Teresa Cervellon. Parents of these students, if y'all are in the audience, please stand and be recognized at this time. And let me tell you a little bit about their accomplishments. These students competed at district competition at Tony Butler in Harlingen. The boys' varsity team placed second 
At the Region 4 competition, the boys in Palmview and McAllen, the girls Los Lagos Edinburgh, first time in the program history. Emma Valle qualified for Region 4 competition as second qualifier. And Mr. Coach Montalvo gave me some more information related to their golf season to kind of recap what a stellar year they, they had. For the boys, second place finish, 32-5A district golf tournament at the Tony Butler Golf Course, Siddle, silver medals presented. Team members included Johnny Espinosa, Jose Flores, Francisco Guerra, Jesse Robles, and Jason Santana. This is the first time in the program's history that a complete boys team has qualified for Region 4 competition. Individual medalists have qualified in the past. At the Region 4 golf tournament, Palm View Golf Course, team members included Johnny Espinosa, Jose Flores, Francisco Guerra, Jesse Robles, and Benjamin Valle. The team placed in the team finished in 15th place at regionals. In 32-5A individual honors, the boys division, Johnny Espinosa was named first team all district and tied fifth man. Jose Flores, first team all district, fourth man. Francisco Guerra, first team all district, tied fifth man. Jesse Robles, second team all district, third man. Jason Santana, second team all district, fifth man. Benjamin Valle, all district, honorable mention. In the girls division, Emma Valle, District 32 5A golf tournament at the Tony Butler Golf Course. Second medalist qualifier, uh, golf completed the, the girls team and individual medalists have qualified in the past. Region 4 tournament, Los Lagos Golf Course, they finished 54th place out of 95 girls. She actually did this accomplishment and Ms. Valle beat 11 out of the 12 32 5A golfers at regional regionals. 32-5A individual honors in the girls' division, Emma Valle, first team all district, third girl. And I guess in golf terms, everybody knows what that means, right, coach? <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, so that concludes the recognition for the golf, and I know he has some returning students for next year, and so we wish him success, and for those that are continuing on, good luck to you in your future as well. Doing the honors for us this evening, Mr. Julian Huerta will do the honors for this next group. Also from San Benito High School, and these are members of the Bells under the direction of Kimberly Banda. These are the girls that uh, competed at the Marching Auxiliaries Dance, and they walked away with a lot of top honors, including Best Choreography, Best Technique, High Point Award, and Super Sweepstakes in Jazz, Open, and Hip Hop. And this was at the 2012 Marching Auxiliaries Regional Dance Competition on March 3rd at Carroll High School in Corpus Christi, Texas. The students on the list, earning recognition, Captain Nadia Vela, Co-Captain Alexandra Limon, First Lieutenant Ana Rodriguez, Second Lieutenant Monica Munoz, Kayla Anderson, Deandra Anguiano, Viridiana Ballesteros, Lori Jo Calderon, Abigail Cantu, Rebecca Castro, Aaron Yvette Colmenero, Alessa De Leon, Monica Garcia, Brianna Garcia, Dory Garcia, Denise Gomez, Cecilia Gonzalez, Alexandra Gonzalez, Blue Lara, Sierra Lino, Priscilla Martinez, Arlene Mendez, Olga Moya, Clarissa Padilla, Melissa Perales, Desiree Salazar, Yesenia Sandoval, Marlena Sorias, and Giselle Tamayo. So congratulations to the members of the Bells this year and to their sponsor. <laughs> Parents, if you all are in the audience, please stand and be recognized at this time.
Congratulations, girls. For the next portion of the agenda, I'm going to turn the honors over to Mr. Ted Lira. He is our choir director at San Benito High School. So he will do the honors for the next group. Members of the board, Mr. Limon, thank you for giving our choir students an opportunity to showcase their talents <coughs> and their hard earned awards. We would like to recognize the following students. Arlen Castillo. She received a superior rating on her solo at UIL contest and is a member of the district choir. Alexa Cortez. She received a superior rating on her class one solo and will go on to state competition in Austin. Next we have Jessica Duran. She was selected into the dis district treble choir. Next we have Adriana Escobar. She received a superior rating in UIL competition with her solo and was selected into the district and region choir. Cristiana Flores. She received a superior rating in her solo and will go on to state competition in Austin and was entered into the district choir. Next we have Samantha Garcia. She's a member of an ensemble that competed at, at UIL competition and her ensemble will go on to state. Next we have Isaac Garcia. His ensemble received a superior rating at UIL competition and he also uh, sang a class one solo and will go on to state in both competitions. Eric Garza. He was selected into the district choir. Matthew Garza. He received a superior rating in his UIL competition solo and will go on to state in Austin. He was entered into the district choir and also the region choir. Next we have Lonnie Go Gonzalez. <laughs> she received a superior rating on her class one solo and will go on to state in Austin. Next, we have Cydia Gonzalez. Her ensemble received a superior rating and will go on to state as well as her solo, and she was entered into the district treble choir. Astrid Gonzalez. Her ensemble received a superior rating and will go on to state competition, and she earned a place in the district treble choir. Next, we have Lauren Herrera. She received a superior rating on her class one solo and will go to state competition in Austin and was entered into the district treble choir. Next, we have Julissa Marroquin. Her ensemble received a superior rating at UIL competition and she uh, got a class one on her a superior rating on a class one solo and will go on to state competition. She was also selected into the district treble choir. Next we have Arlene Mendez. <laughs> Arlene earned a superior rating on her UIL competition state solo and will go on to competition in Austin. Next we have San Juanita Milan. Mian. Her ensemble received a superior rating and will go on to UIL competition and in Austin at the state level. She was also selected into the district and region choir. Next we have Francisco Montiel. His ensemble received a superior rating at UIL competition and will go on to state competition. Next we have Jessica Padilla. She earned a chair in the district treble choir. Next we have Osvaldo Peña, we call him Red. 
His ensemble received a superior rating at UAL competition and will go on to state in Austin. Next we have Esther Perales. Her ensemble received a superior rating at UIL competition and will go on to state as well as her solo. She was selected into the district choir. Next we have Mariana Perez. Her ensemble received a superior rating as well as her solo and she will compete at state level in Austin and she was selected into the district choir. Joe Ramirez. His ensemble received a superior rating at UIL competition and will go on to state in Austin. Next we have Anna Rangel. Her ensemble received a superior rating at UIL competition as well as her solo and she will go on to compete at state level and she was selected into the district choir. Next we have Brisa Rodriguez. Her ensemble received a superior rating as well as her solo and she will go on and compete at state level in Austin. Next we have Adrian Solis. His ensemble received a superior rating at UAL competition as well as his solo and he will go on to state competition in Austin. He was selected into the district choir. Allison Torres. Her ensemble received a superior rating and she will go on to state competition in Austin and she was selected into this district treble choir. Next we have Troy Leal. <laughs> Troy Leal was selected into the district choir, went on to be selected into the region choir and made it all the way to the pre-area choir. Next we have J.B. Sauceda. JB received a superior rating on his piano solo and will go on to state competition and he's also competed as a soloist and will go on to state competition with that. He was selected into the district, region, and pre-area choir. Next we have Isaac Trevino. <laughs> Isaac Trevino received a superior rating for his ensemble and solo. He was selected into the district, region, pre-area, and made it all the way to state. Our next soloist is Jean-Luc Cañas. Jean-Luc's ensemble and voice received a superior rating and will compete at UIL at the state level. He was selected into the district, region, pre-area, and state choir. Next we have Matthew Mancias. Matthew's guitar, guitar ensemble received a superior rating and will compete at state. He received a superior rating in his, in his uh, solo and will go on to state. He was selected into the district, region, pre-area, and the all-state choir. If you are parents of these students, would you, be, would you please stand and be recognized? That, conclu that concludes our portion. Thank you very much. For the next group, I'd like to introduce Mr. Willie Perez, our Director of Bands. Members of the board, Mr. Limon, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, without all of your help, we would not be able to do this and have these accomplishments. Uh, the first accomplishments we want to do is our uh, middle school all-region students who made their middle school all-region band. 
Three years ago, we had one student make the band. Uh, last year, we had five students make the band. And this year, we had 11 students make the band. In order for them to make the band, they're competing against over 1,200 middle school students. And only 280 get selected for this. So it's a big honor for these students. And I can't wait to work with them for next year. This time, I'd like to introduce the, the students from uh, Berta Cavasa Middle School. Uh, Roel de la Fuente. And Enrique Garcia. Their directors are Marco Gandaria and Mark Rodriguez. Congratulations also go to BC for give, giving, getting a Division I on stage at the concert and site reading. So congratulations on that. Next from Miller Jordan, uh, Samuel Reina could not be here with us today, but he deserves an applause. <laughs> Santiago Castillo. From <laughs> Irving Garcia. And we had two seventh graders make the all-region band. Javier Hernandez. And Megan Escovedo. Directors are David Noyola and Rudy Gonzalez. I'd like to also say that the Miller Jordan Band received a sweepstakes award at UIL Concert and Sight Reading this past year. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, Riverside, Rihanna Rojas. <laughs> Pablo Castro. Aaron Adame. And Marco Gutierrez. Directors are Veronica Basaldua and Aaron McMichael. Again, proud to say the Riverside Middle School Band received a sweepstakes also. Uh, for your oil concert and sight reading. Congratulations. <laughs> We'd like to thank the three principals from the middle schools, Mr. Snavely, Mr. Rodriguez, and Mr. Wood. If you can please stand up, let us recognize you at this time. <laughs> and also, our parents of these students, can you please stand up, let us recognize you at this time. Thank you, looking forward to working with all of you. Don't believe any stories you've heard about me. Thank you very much. <laughs> right this way, guys, thank you. Good job. And I'll fear this. They said not to take more than an hour, so I'm trying to make it fast. <laughs> uh, a brief history of the high school accomplishments this past year. Our, our high school marching band competed in two uh, festivals, three festivals, two on this side of the valley against 16 schools, and another competition in the other side of the valley against the, the uh, Region 15. I'm proud to say that the, that the San Benito Band at all three contests came out in second place. Uh, one of the judges had his first place in each of the competitions. And also, we, but we won Best Music and Best Brass at all three competitions. So they're, they're doing awesome. Uh, all district. Four years ago, we had, I think, five or six all-region all students. This year, we had 39 all-region students. OK. <laughs> 
freshmen, we, we had 13 freshmen, all region students. That was the most of any school in our region. Our VMA kids did awesome. We had nine students advanced to uh, pre-area, uh, four students advanced to area. Area level is they compete against students from their own instrument from Houston, San Antonio on down here. So they have to be the top four or five in each of those. Uh, very proud to say that uh, we have two All-Staters this year. We've only had, in the history of San Benito prior to this year, only had two All-Staters. So we've already doubled that this year, and one of them is a sophomore and one of them is a junior. So we're looking forward to repeating that for next year. We went to solo and ensemble uh, competition. Um, our students received over 250 medals at uh, solo and ensemble. Um, our, to give you a comparison of the next band below us, the next band that was in second place received 90 medals. And we received 250 medals. In order for a student to go to state on a solo, they have to play a class one solo, and it has to be memorized. We're talking about a four to 10 minute solo, has to be memorized with a piano accompanist. And then we also have, they also have ensembles. Uh, last year we had 51 solos go on to, to state the most in, in the valley. This year we have 71 students going to state, <laughs> memorized solos. Uh, ensemble members were 69, a total of 140 entries to state solo and ensemble this year. Um, at this time, we'd like to recognize all our students. On those 140 entries, there's nobody from San Antonio, South Houston on down that even came close to those numbers. So thank you for all your support with all the new instruments and the new uniforms. Things are paying off in, the, in our fine arts department. Thank you for all your support. Now let's acknowledge. We asked you several years ago, we needed the right vehicles for the students to be successful. You provided the right vehicles and you're seeing, we're reaping the rewards of all your contributions. So thank you again. Uh, here we go with the uh, our students. So we're gonna name all the students and all their accomplishments at this time. Uh, first one is Ms. Iris Agado. Iris made a Division I honor solo and ensemble. Both of them are going to state. Next one is Mr. Um, Edgar Berlanga. <laughs> Edgar Berlanga is doing a solo and an ensemble that's going to state. Okay, John Bermudez. Solo and ensemble going to state. Jose Camacho. Jose Camacho is going on guitar solo, the guitar program that we started several, a couple years ago. Uh, they're now, they can compete at the state level also on guitar solo, so thank you very much for that. Next one is Cassandra Carizales. Cassandra made the all district, all region, solo, and an ensemble going to state. Jonathan Castaño. Jonathan's going to state in an ensemble. Ralph Cerda. Ralph is going to state in a solo and an ensemble. Mario Contreras. Mario Contreras made the all-region band, also going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Camille Cordova. Camille received a district patch, made ninth grade all-region, uh, got a one on her solo and an ensemble. Karina de Jesus.
Kenny has uh, made a Division I on a solo and ensemble going to state. Enrique de la Cruz, the third. <laughs> made the all region, all district, solo and ensemble. Ms. Eva de la Fuente. <laughs> Eva got a district patch and going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Emilio de Leon. <laughs> is going to state in an ensemble. Talia de Leon. <laughs> made the ninth grade All Valley and going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Adrian De Los Santos. <laughs> received a district patch and made solo and ensemble going to state. Bianca Elorza. <laughs> Bianca made the all district, all region. She advanced to pre-area as she got a one on her solo and one in her ensemble. Larissa Gamboa. All district, all region, and going to state solo and ensemble. Christian Garcia. A division one solo and ensemble going to state. Kathy Garcia. <laughs> Division, uh, a solo and an ensemble going to state. Christina Garcia. <laughs> a solo going to state. Ricky Garcia. <laughs> Made the all region band. Ivana Garza. All district, uh, solo and an ensemble going to state. Leo Gasoria. A solo and an ensemble going to state. Jacob Germain. Made the all district, all region, pre-area, solo and an ensemble going to state. Steven Gonzalez. <laughs> all district, uh, solo and an ensemble going to state. Jesus Gonzalez. <laughs> all district, all region, solo and ensemble going to state. Matthew Gonzalez. Going to state in an ensemble. Juan Hernandez. Juan Hernandez made the all district, uh, all region, pre area, made it all the way to area, and uh, his ensemble is going to state. Juan's little brother was a seventh grade trombone player that made all region also. So it runs in the family. Marcos Hernandez. All district, all region, solo and ensemble on saxophone. And then he's part of the guitar uh, ensemble that's going to state also. Nadia Hernandez. <laughs> Made the all region band, all district, solo and ensemble going to state. Taylor Hyde. All district, all region, pre-area, solo, and ensemble. Yana Infante. As a solo and an ensemble going to state. Janika Kuhn. All district, all region, solo, and an ensemble going to state. Oscar Lara.
Oscar is going to state on a band solo and a choir solo. Ingrid Ledbetter. She made the all district band and going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Julissa Limon. All district, all region, going to state solo and an ensemble. Parker Longoria. He made the all region band, going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Freddie Lopez. All district, all region, and going to state on a solo. Miguel Marquez. Going to state on a solo. Lorena Martinez. Lorena made the all district band, all region band, pre area, going to state on a solo and ensemble, and she's the fourth band member in the last three years to receive the Bill Gates Scholarship. Itzi Medrano. All district and all region band. Gabriel Mendez. Division one on solo and ensemble. Jesus Montemayor. Made the all region band. Luis Moreno, all district, all region, pre-area, made it to area, missed state by two chairs, we'll, he's a sophomore, we'll get him next year, and is going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Andy Nava. All district, all region, going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Aaron Nunez. All district and all region. George Moreno. He's going to state on a guitar solo. Edgar Palomino. Going to state on an ensemble. Paloma Pedraza. Paloma Pedraza made the all district band all region band, pre-area, area. She's going to state on a solo and an ensemble. She also was one of our all-staters this past year, and she's also our head drum major for next year. <laughs> Janelle Perez. Janelle is going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Luis Perez. Luis made the all region band, going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Lali Spulido. Lali Spulido is going to state in a solo and an ensemble. Alejandra Ramirez. Alex is going to state in a solo and an ensemble. Daniel Ramirez.
is going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Carlos La Ramos. All district, all region, solo and ensemble. Roman Rendon. Roman got a district patch. He did uh, going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Enrique Reta. Enrique is also one of our guitar soloists. Uh, he's a member of one of our popular quartets, and he's going to state on a guitar solo, and the ensemble is also going to state. Ismael Reina. Ismael made the all-district, all-region band. is going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Mr. Jose Rivera. Mr. Rivera is going to state on a solo and an ensemble, and he's next year's one of our assistant drum majors for next year. Brianna Roa. Brianna is going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Reynaldo Rocha. Made the all district, all region band and is going to state with an ensemble. Jasmine Rodriguez. Jasmine made the all district, all region band and is going to state with a solo and an ensemble. John Rodriguez. is going to state with an ensemble. Tirsa Rodriguez. All district, all region, made pre-area, going to state with a solo and an ensemble. Javier Salinas. Javier made the all district, all region band advanced to pre-area, placed high enough to advance to area, got a division one on his solo and ensemble, made the all-region jazz band, made the all-region mariachi band, and made the all-state band. As a sophomore, and both our all-state students are from Riverside, attended Riverside uh, Middle School. Okay, Christian Sanchez. Christian made the all-region band. Reed Smitter. Reed made the all-region band and also advancing to state on a solo and an ensemble. Pablo Vasquez. is going to state on a solo and an ensemble. Alex Vasquez. Alex is going to state with an ensemble. David Velasco. David Velasco um, made the district band and advancing to state with a solo and an ensemble. Marcos Villarreal. Marcos Villarreal is advancing to state on a, with a solo and an ensemble. We had three bands compete at UIL uh, this past year, high school bands. For the third year in a row, our ninth grade band received uh, sweepstakes and under the direction of Mark Basaldua. Our
Our symphonic band, uh, our second band here at the high school, also received sweepstakes. That was under the direction of Mr. Dylan Engel. And our win ensemble received sweepstakes also under the direction of Mr. Daddy Mendoza. I'd like to thank our ninth grade uh, principal, Ms. Sevillon. If she's here, can we please stand up? And our high school principal, Ms. Delia Weaver. Oh, I think I'm forgetting somebody. Can we have all the parents of these wonderful kids please stand up at this time? Let us recognize you. <laughs> Madam Chair, Mr. S Mr. Limon, my hour is up. Thank you very much for letting us do this. So we're going to continue under item number seven, under special recognitions, and we're on section R. Mr. Limon. At this time, we would like to uh, recognize an appreciation for San Benito CISD Board Trustee, Mr. Oscar de la Fuente, Jr., for years of service from 1997 to 2012. Mr. La Fuente, if you come forward, our board president will be presenting you with an award. And Celia, also you have, a, we have a video, special video presentation right after this, this award. <laughs> Do you want to do the video presentation, David?
current board also has a good intent. We try to do what's best for this district. Uh, I've seen many board members come and go, but one thing that particularly strikes me is that we all have good intentions on our part to try to make the best decisions. And uh, the teacher board has a good the best. I know the way we have done is on the board of teams, it's also present here. <coughs> all these board members are very If I can have one more round of applause for all his years of service and dedication to this district. Thank you, Mr. De La Fuente. And at this time, we do have a special performance for Mr. De La Fuente in honor of all the years of service that he's given to this district. I think it's a choir first. Solitaire, solitaire. 
again, there you have it, two great performances by our students in band and choir. Thank you to the, to the teachers. At this time, we're going to go ahead and move on to item number eight, break for reception. The time is now 8.15, and we will resume back in 15 minutes. To address the Board of Trustees shall register with the presiding officer or designee no later than five minutes before the announced time of the school board meeting. Shall state their full name. Shall state what organization or group, if any, is being represented. Shall state the topic they wish to address before the school board. Shall refrain from commenting directly on any individual school district employee or public official by name, but may instead refer to a specific employment area, job title, or the board of trustees as a whole, and shall refrain from attacks on individual. The speaker will be allowed only five minutes to give his or her presentation. Delegations of more than five persons shall appoint one person to present their views before the Board of Trustees. Presentations shall be informative and shall pertain to school-related issues. Any attack on an individual shall be considered disruption of the meeting. The Board of Trustees shall not deliberate or decide regarding any subject that is not included on the agenda posted with notice of the meeting. So again, at this time, we do have three individuals. First one. I ask to come forward is Rosalinda Garcia. Good evening. I'm here to thank an individual who's retiring from the board, and I want to, I mentioned his name, Mrs. President? Yes. I want to thank Mr. De La Fuente for all his service to, to our community. I know it took a lot of time, quality time away from his family, and I also want to thank his family. But to let him know that we do appreciate what you did for our community. And in all, in the few conversations that I had with Mr. De La Fuente, he was never, like he said, malicious. His intentions were always for the students of San Benito High School. He's uh, one good person to have here in our in our town in our district and i hope he makes it back to service again one day after he has a good rest thank you thank you the next audience member i'd like to call is leticia Villafranco. Good evening, board members. Um, I'm here in reference, uh, I have a concern regarding cheerleader tryouts, and I'm here regarding my niece, uh, Rayanne Villafranco. She, uh, tryouts took place on March the 19th. She was selected as a cheerleader, and then they went back for second tryouts. The second tryouts, she was not uh, elected as a cheerleader. And therefore, this was, uh, according to the Constitution, was not followed. And uh, we would like to have a, you know, have her as a cheerleader. She's got all the qualifications, and you know, this is what happened. So that's why they went back for a second tryout. So she was insulted, and she's hurt because the first time, you know, she made it, and then she was told she was, you know, she was she did not make it. So that's the reason that I'm here. I don't know how, what can you all do, you know, to help her out. And I know there was other girls that didn't make it either. And you know, I know they have to have skills and everything to, to, you know, qualify as a cheerleader. But this was not done fairly, because they had, you know, once you win, you make it. Then they went back for the second trials because of the constitution not being followed. So, you know, we would like to see how can you all help us in this situation, you know. Thank you. At this time, uh, we can't make any decisions or, or, or mm -hmm. decide on, on anything pertaining to your topic, but we, we are taking into account what yeah. you have to say this, this evening. Okay, because this is for the, she's, she'll be a senior uh, this coming year, so, you know, we want to know what can, how can you help us? Would you all get back with us, or, or when will a decision? We'll have Mr. Limon contact you. Okay. okay. All right. Thank, thank you. you. And the final individual in our audience that would like to speak 
is uh, Mr. John Rodriguez. <coughs> Can I make sure this is right? Good evening, school board president, uh, trustees, and Mr. Superintendent. My name is John Rodriguez, and I was asked to speak on behalf of the majority of the cheerleader parents, of which my wife and I are also a part of. In the last couple of months, the San Manuel High School has held cheerleader tryouts not once, but twice, at the school district's expense. After long weeks of practices and hours at the gym practices and the first tryouts were held. For most of these young ladies, they were not only trying out for cheerleader, but still having to balance schoolwork, testing, involvement in clubs, and athletics. After the initial tryouts and finding out who made the squad, concerns over the validity and the possibility of discrepancies began surfacing. It was found to be an invalid tryout. Much to the dismay of the 14 original girls, they were advised that a second tryout would need to be held. As parents, seeing our girls heartbroken really hurt. But we knew it was the right thing to do. And we agreed that we had to follow the cheerleader constitution and supported Mrs. Weaver's decision to have tryouts again. Second tryouts were held and a new squad was selected. To our understanding, all rules were followed and all measures were taken to ensure that there were no discrepancies. School administrators and staff did an outstanding job both times. And yet we find ourselves again in front of our school board, just like last year. We did not think it was fair after the first tryouts telling the girls that they had to try out again, but it was the right thing to do. Now we did the right thing, followed the rules, corrected the discrepancies, and yet we are still having parents complain whose daughters did not make the squad. Grasping at straws, causing turmoil, disruption seems to be the method of this group, a pattern that is well known within the cheer groups to cause for a new tryout or force a number to increase in the squad. This happens every year except last year when the administration took a firm stand and did not allow this to occur. The selection of the second and final squad was done on a fair playing field. You may sit there and hear, it's not fair, uh, we're doing it for the kids. Well, at what point did it stop being fair? Everything was done correctly and by the Constitution. The San Manuel Varsity Squads in all aspects of the school curriculum are earned spots. They're not given or handed out. When we're talking about football, basketball, track, all valley band, choir, chess, weightlifting, and all other activities, whether boy or girls, we are expected, expecting that our best is what we have on the varsity squads representing the San Benito Greyhounds. This is being proven more often now that we are bringing in more district, regional, and state championships. Not groups that are put together to convenience a small group of parents because their child did not make the cut, squad, team, or first chair all valley. We have always taught our children to follow the rules, do your best, don't give up, to win with dignity, and to lose with grace. The high school principal has made has had to make tough decisions in the last couple of months, and we respect and honor those decisions. We understand that the school board has to make some tough decisions as well. We respectfully ask the school board and superintendent to put this issue to rest by supporting the principal's decision so our varsity and junior varsity squad can start preparing for what is to be a great year ahead. Thank you, board members, for supporting Mrs. Weaver. Thank you for supporting the cheerleading constitution. Thank you for supporting our sponsors. And thank you, board members, for your patience and your time. Y'all have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on to item number nine, superintendent's report. Mr. Limon. Thank you, uh, Madam President. At this time, it's customary to inform the board of the overnight trips that have been scheduled. We have the Miller-Jordan TIPS uh, seventh grade uh, compliance field trip to NASA in Houston, the Museum of Natural Science, May 14th to May the 15th. 
We also have the Miller Jordan Middle School, eighth grade, University of Texas in Austin and College Station, May 21st through May 22nd. Uh, Miller Jordan Middle School, eighth grade, University of Texas in Austin, College Station, May 23rd through the 24th. San Benito High School, American Legion, Texas, Boys State, University of Texas, Austin, American Legion, Texas, Boys State, American Citizenship Training, June 3rd through June 8th. And San Benito High School, Skills USA, the AV Production, Skills USA, the Texas Leadership Academy at Hunt, Texas, June 3rd through June the 7th. Uh, Veterans Memorial Academy Technology Student Association, 2012 National TSA Conference in Nashville, Tennessee, June 21st through June 25th. We also have uh, in, in your board book the summer four-day work schedule, Fourth of July holiday work schedule, disbursements and disbursements by organization. That concludes the superintendent's report. We'll attempt to answer any questions you may have. Being that there are no questions, we're going to move on to item number 10, school construction report. Mr. Ramon. Good evening. Frank Roberts, Landrum, um, renovation projects, plumbing and electrical work is continuing, uh, ceramic work is continuing, HVAC work is continuing in both of those projects. The project is approximately five months uh, late. Originally they had 160 days. Uh, the, con the architect uh, had recommended an additional of 68 days, making 228 days now, and that, that ended on April the 25th. Approximately 90% of the project is now completed. At Riverside GM HVAC renovations, the contractor has ordered all the main equipment. At Miller Jordan, uh, field house HVAC renovation. Uh, just today, the engineer went ahead and released the equipment, and so within the next couple of days, the uh, contractor will be uh, ordering all the equipment. These are summer projects, and we're trying to get that as, as soon as possible so that we can get that. The uh, uh, completion date for these two projects is August the 10th. <coughs> Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Ramon. There are no questions. As we move on to item number 11, in order to promote efficient meetings, the school board may act upon more than one item by a single vote through the use of consent agenda. Consent items placed on the agenda shall be marked with an asterisk. Consent items are items for which no board discussion is anticipated and for which the superintendent recommends approval. Prior to the time which approval of consent agenda is had at the request of any member of the board of trustees. Any item on the consent agenda shall be removed and given individual consideration. Item number 11, action agenda under business and finance. 1205A-1, request for approval of proposal for the HVAC improvements at La Paloma Elementary School. Consent. 1205A-2, request for approval of proposal for the HVAC improvements at Frank Roberts Elementary School. Consent. 1205A-3, request for approval of 2011-2012 budget amendments. Consent. 1205A-4, request for approval of budget transfers. Consent. Under curriculum and instruction, 1205A-5, request for approval of summer school 2011-2012. Consent. 1205A-6, request for approval of the 2012 summer camp schedule. Consent. 1205A-7, request for approval to purchase medical billing and coding program MBC course curriculum for instructional purpose. Consent. Under administration, 1205A-8, request for approval of board minutes. Consent. I'd like to ask for a motion to approve items 1205A-1, 1205A-2, 1205A-3, 1205A-4, 1205A-5, 1205A-6, 1205A-7, 1205A-7, as well as 1205A-8. So moved. Motion made by Mr. Tumberlinson. 
Seconded by Ms. Aguilera. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to item number 12, closed meeting. Discussion under the authority of the Texas Government Code 551.071 for the purpose of a private consultation with the board's attorney on any or all subjects or matters authorized by law. A, pending litigations. 551.074, for the purpose of the appointment, employment, evaluation, reassignment, duties, discipline, or dismissal of a public officer or employee to hear complaints or charges against the public officer or employee. A, report on personnel. Time is now 8.51 and we are in executive. 9.55 and we are returning from executive. Under item number 13, consider action on items discussed in closed meeting. 551.071 for the purpose of a private consultation with the board's attorney on any or all subjects or matters authorized by law. A, pending litigations. 551.074 for the purpose of the appointment, employment, evaluation, reassignment, duties, discipline, or dismissal of a public officer or employee to hear complaints or charges against a public officer or employee. And we have no action on either. So item number 14, adjournment. The time is now 9.56 and we are adjourned.